नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो हियर इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन वैष्णव सदाचार एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट वन ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल्स दैट इज द ड्रेसिंग एंड अपियरेंस ऑफ अ वैष्णव इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट that first thing that people see is how a person looks and one thing which a devotee should remember always is wherever we go we are a devotee and whom are we representing we are representing guru and krishna we are no more x y z mr x or miss x we are a devotee so whenever someone sees us they are going to immediately tag us to the organization is con tagus to the guru that is shila prabhupad and just by looking at us they will judge the organization they will judge the acharya therefore it's very important that one should follow the vaishnav etiquette of dressing oneself very nicely as a vaishnav and behaving accordingly so today we'll discuss uh, some important details about this <clears throat> another very important thing is the thumb rule of vaishnav sadachar or vaishnav etiquette when we learn is all that that we learn is only for me not for anyone else so this is what is the mood when we learn if we don't have this mood proper the only thing that we will do is fault finding so by learning vaishnav sadachar by watching these different uh, videos we'll become expert at fault finding if we don't understand this very important rule that this thing what i'm learning is for myself and not for anyone else i'm not learning to become a better judge to judge devotees around so this has to be very clear so let's begin the first thing is about dressing so it's a very important thing to note that it's a very natural tendency of a human being to look or the tendency to feel and try to look different as compared to all others in the crowd i want to stand out in my appearance i want to look the best this is all the material thought process that is there and since we are there in this material world from time immemorial so naturally this thought process will be there that i want to look different hatke dikhna ekdam i want to stand out in the entire crowd people should observe me people should look at me they should you now give attention when i walk in the devotee association so all this nonsensical thought process will always be there what to do from so many lifetimes we are in this material world so naturally you know all these things will be there and because of this mentality because of this materialistic attitude what will happen is when we dress ourselves in that also we will see that we will be dressing ourselves to make sure that hum hatke hai we are the ones the best among the crowd outstanding personality hmm. but one thing we have to understand is that as devotees krishna should feel that yes this person is looking very nice hmm. not other mortal beings of this world the days have gone when we were dressing for people around but now as a devotee we we should dress for our lordships for their pleasure shri shri radha and krishna for the pleasure of our acharya shila prabhupad and we should follow what they say and therefore vaishnav etiquette manual says that simple dressing is what is recommended for all the devotees when they come in devotee association here the discussion is all about devotee association now we are not discussing much on how to dress in the office and how to dress in the college and school and other things no we were discussing about when we are there in the association of devotees when we come back from workplace from the college or wherever once we come back how should we be dressed when we are going to temple how we should be dressed 
the first thing is i'm referring to the vaishnava etiquette manual simplicity in dress is very important for a vaishnava this is a punch line you know which i came across very very important for a vaishnava so for men dhoti kurta is something that is mandatory there is no question of uh, you know wearing anything else apart from that because dhoti kurta it represents vaishnava attire and simple dhoti kurta that is also very important hmm. not flashy jazzy colorful and all that therefore we see that many devotees they wear white and white you will see all the many many senior devotees white and white hmm. there is no tension there is no tension of uh, you know thinking about okay which color and this and that no tension hmm. therefore it's very important to note that simplicity or simple dressing is what is very very important first thing second is even while wearing dhoti you know we will see that as i said it's natural tendency that i want to look different be different so even while put you know wearing dhoti a person will try his best to wear it in certain way which is different as compared to others <laughs> therefore we should see that what our uh, senior vaishnavas are doing how they wear how it has been taught to us and accordingly we should wear and when it comes to matajis now we can matajis can take guidance from other senior matajis according to vaishnava etiquette manual sari is what is recommended hmm. which covers the full body so this is regarding the dhoti kurta now it's very important to note that whatever we wear that should not be fashionable and opulent your simplicity is the key you know when we are dressing ourselves and shastras are very clear krishna is attracted to simple devotees finally one has to dress oneself thinking what will krishna like so krishna is attracted to simple devotees internally simple externally simple so it's very very important Now another very important thing, you know, which I personally came across in uh, one of the places where which where I visited. So I was in a shop, and I was purchasing some dirty paraphernalia, and I had just some talk with the shopkeeper. And uh, when we were having a discussion, so that person said, without knowing that I am also from Iskand, so he said, "Yeah, these many of the Iskand devotees they just do show off only. Look at their dressing." <laughs> and I was taken aback. What is he saying? What is he speaking? but yes you know when outside people when they look at us they just look at the externals and the judge this is something which you know one has to understand very clearly now does that mean that uh, our clothing should be dirty and torn and other things no it has to be neat and it has to be presentable one thing we have to understand is we are a preaching mission so when we are going to talk to people when we are preaching so we should be very presentable we should be neat and people when they look at the devotee they should feel ah yes i i want to listen to, from this person that should be the eagerness that uh, general public should have hmm. now also it's a very important thing to note that uh, a vaishnav hmm. a devotee always will make sure that every day morning fresh clean clothes wash clothes are worn hmm. not like uh, the materialists who wear the clothes full day and then hang it and then after two days again wear the same thing and put deodorant around and then you you say you're fresh no because a devotee is not bothered about impressing others but he is more bothered about how his consciousness will be so when clean clothes are not worn when the wash clothes are not worn one thing is very clear that consciousness will get affected due to whatever reasons mm-hmm. due to the impurity that is there so when chaitanya mahaprabhu was asked who is a devotee so at one of the plays he uses definition when we look at that person and if we are reminded of krishna that person is a devotee how's that <laughs> so when we are in a vaishnav attire we will remind people about krishna naturally people will look at oh hare krishna hare krishna hare ram or oh krishna devotee something like that so this is the first thing that is our appearance now the only makeup that a devotee does is put tilak tilak on the forehead tilak on the 11 places on the body so a devotee should put tilak very nicely mm. every day 
and we have discussed elaborately in the topic which is which was exclusively meant only to describe tilak so in one of the videos we already discussed so tilak is a only makeup you know that a devotee does and the tilak makes the devotee very very beautiful the devotee looks very nice very beautiful very smart in the eyes of krishna and if for, for krishna if we are smart if we are beautiful i think we are done because finally what we are supposed to do by all that that we do in our entire day is to please krishna hmm. tilak next thing is hair so the hair that uh, the devotees have so it is described in the manual that uh, the Brahm- brahmacharis and sanyasis you know they shave their head hmm. they shave their head often and keep themselves clean shaved and when it comes to others be it the grahastha devotees or the working devotees who are still not married the hair should be short mm-hmm. because see one thing you just just think about it you know we have dressed in dhoti kurta and we have put tilak and then we have hair and then you put take uh, some hair gel and then put it on the hair and then make it straight <laughs> so make it spike or something like that have a different hairstyle you know, that's a weird look you know that is there because that is in not that is not in line you know with vaishnava etiquette because a vaishnava is very uh, very much cautious about uh, spending his time in anything that is not taking him closer to krishna so looking in the mirror and setting the hair for a long time making it spike or some design or something like that oh a vaishnava will not get into all that therefore short hair is something that is recommended which is which keeps the person clean also hmm. next thing is about the mustache and beard so by the way when it comes to mataji again you know, senior devotee senior matris can guide vaishnava etiquette manual says the hair you know, if it is long then that has to be braided very nicely mm-hmm. regarding mustache and beard for prabhu ji now it's but obvious that when it comes to uh, a vaishnav clean shaven face is what is the expectation of our acharya that is shila prabhupada whenever prabhupad would see long beard long hair you would get annoyed and you would say why you want to become hippie again in many of the classes propa directly he is telling the class we are still there in the recording why you want to become hippie again why you want to grow your beard and your hair hmm. therefore it's very important that one keeps the face clean sometimes the look becomes very hilarious when uh, you know the devotees are wearing vaishnava attire and then have some beard like this or like this or like this it's weird it's weird it it doesn't suit you know, the uh, attire it doesn't suit the title that is a vaishnava or a devotee and we are representing guru and krishna so it doesn't uh, you know it doesn't look good but as i already said the mentality is always there and what is the mentality i have to look different i want to be an outstanding person in the entire crowd so that uh, so mind will trick us in various ways but then keeping the higher goal in the mind to please the acharya to please krishna one has to make sure that uh, we get rid of all these different tendencies that we have and you know we remain presentable mm-hmm. as a preacher as a devotee very very important so this is you know regarding uh, the hair and regarding uh, the mustache one point regarding the hair which i would like to mention is if possible the devotees can keep shikha you know shikha is small tuft of hair behind so now this shikha also according to the vaishnava etiquette manual this says that gaudiya vaishnavas traditionally keep approximately 1.5 inches in diameter shikha yes so 1.5 inches which comes to roughly 5 to 6 cm so that much shikha hmm. and this is also very nice so they say the shikha is long so while tying the shikha so one can chant the hari krishna maha mantra or uh, you know if the person is uh, second initiated they can chant the respective uh, gayatri mantra that is there so it's a very important thing that uh, even while tying shikha we are chanting maha mantra we are remembering the lord this is called as the vaishnava lifestyle lifestyle whatever we do we are chanting the holy names we are remembering krishna so very very wonderful uh, point uh, that is made here in the manual the next thing which uh, can be highlighted here since we are speaking about appearance is about accessories now see one thing is very clear we stand for 
what we are and what we are we are devotees so we stand for it it's not that you know we look at the materialist who are majority in the crowd and then we start copying them no we have to stand for what we are we are devotees so we have to be devotees simple now at times when we see various materialists wearing all flashy accessories on the body and we also think oh even i should wear i should wear this i should wear that it's very odd sometimes devotees come and ask can i wear kada in my hand uh, we can check in the parampara if any acharya is wearing <laughs> we can check can i wear a uh, uh, iron chain on my uh, you know uh, around my neck so it doesn't work like that yes because we are not here to copy we are not here to copy the materialist but we are here to set an example for the materialists that this is how a sober gentleman looks like and this is what shila prabhupad wanted always therefore during prabhupad's time we see that how uh, amazingly the devotees would be dressing as a vaishnav in fact you know people outside at that time they were not knowing much about uh, who is a vaishnav so when they would wear dhoti kurta when they would wear sari people would call are look why are these people uh, draping bed sheets around their body <laughs> because one huge cloth you know, either as a dhoti or a sari so people were not able to understand that but devotees were what they were they were stand they were standing for or they were there for whatever they call themselves as devotees they stood for it but here comes another practical aspect since we are a preaching mission so say we are we are going out for preaching so we have to see that what attire is important there say we are going to give a seminar in some uh, some firm some uh, organization so where people might get repelled looking at a vaishnava attire so okay no problem then we can be there in uh, whatever clothes which are suitable you know for preaching there in that particular place but apart from that there is no other concession that is there mm-hmm. because being in vaishnava attire that itself is a big preaching for general public because just by looking at that vaishnava attire which is also called as vaikuntha dress they will surely get the merit of taking darshan of a vaishnav of taking darshan of the lotus feet of the lord taking darshan of that attire which is the attire of vaikuntha so in this way it is very important that accessories we should be very careful what accessories we are wearing and also another very important thing leather items so when it comes to leather items be it uh, the leather uh, belt of the wrist watch or the waist belt that is worn or the bags that we carry there is no question of having leather because uh, one of the four regulated principles is no meat eating so that also goes on to say no slaughtering of animals so every leather that comes uh, comes with a cost of slaughtering an animal so therefore one has to be very careful because we stand for this principle so we have to follow it also the next thing the or the last thing for uh, this video is a very important accessory that every devotee you know can wear is the kanthi mala mm. so this kanthi mala is uh, made up of tulsi beads mm. and it's very important to note that devotees can wear either two or three rounds of kanthi mala bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur no, not more than five you no know, this is one of the statement you know that is there which we came across in one of the classes and also when we are wearing kanthi mala it is very clearly said in the manual that it has to be wrapped around the kantha around the neck mm-hmm. and it should be clearly visible so this is what uh, you know is told and it's a very important thing as well and we call it as the dog belt <laughs> so it goes on to say that we are not stray dogs you know we are we are a dog having a master and our master is vishnu krishna mm-hmm. a very important point is made here tulsi beads worn around the neck indicate a devotee surrender to the lord mm-hmm. like one say yes i am a master and i am surrendered to the master mm-hmm. and also it is said therefore a person wearing tulsi beads around his neck is dear to the lord this is the sign of surrender this is the sign that yes i am following principles this is a sign that i belong to krishna this is a sign that yes i am an i am an aspirant of uh, or i'm aspiring to be a surrendered devotee 
or I'm a surrendered devotee. Hmm. Another very important point to note, sometimes devotees ask this question, newcomers do ask this question, should I remove Kanti Mala when I'm going to washroom? Can I, should I remove Kanti Mala while taking bath? Should I remove Kanti Mala when there is some death that has happened at home? No. The answer is no. Here it is said, the Kanti Mala is worn permanently for the, for the beads protect one from bad dreams and various other things and especially a very important point. Upon seeing the Tulusi Mala, the Yamadutas flee like leaves scattered by the wind. So very important to wear Kanti. Finally now, who can wear Kanti Mala? Mm -hmm. Here it is said, Devotees were not following the basic principles, particularly the chanting of holy names and the four related principles, that is no meat eating, no illicit sex, no intoxication and no gambling, should not wear Kanti Mala. Mm -hmm. Strictly speaking, once the Kanti Mala is worn, even onion garlic should not pass down the throat. So this is what uh, you know is said here in Vaishnava uh, etiquette manual. And therefore, one should be aware of all this. And one should come to the standard and wear Kanti Mala because this is the only accessory which is very, very pleasing you know, to the Lord. Therefore, in this way, the appearance of a Vaishnav is very, very important. Two reasons. One, external preaching. It preaches people around. And second is the internal preaching. Because when we wear or when we dress ourselves as a Vaishnav and we are not copying the materialist around or we are not trying to prove to the materialist around what happens at that time. We are internally preached. Yes, I am a devotee. I shouldn't get into all nonsensical activities. I should do justice because I am representing Guru and Krishna. So in this way, when we dress like a Vaishnav for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna, yes, this is one of the sign of advancement in Krishna consciousness. So again, we repeat the thumb rule for learning these Vaishnav etiquette, Vaishnav Sadachar, is all this that we learn is only for myself. There might be many senior devotees doing uh, you know, many things. Maybe their appearance might be different or you know, whatever it is. They are free to do whatever they want. Because these rules are meant for myself, not for anyone else. So, this has to be clear. I hope uh, this helps us to get closer to Krishna. Because every Vaishnav Sadachar is so pleasing to the entire Parampara and to Lordships. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.